Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am back with another video. Yo, if you haven't watched my last video from yesterday, go check that out and busy yourself on that uh, recent video. All right, now without further ado, we're going to be talking about Cam Newton. He was frustrated after the Carolina Panthers lost to the Saints 41 to 38. It was Sunday night, and we're going to be talking about this. Uh, interview that he felt like it was mandated. So here we go. Did not get to uh, carry or run the ball a lot today. Was that by design? Was that part of the game plan? You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, on that second drive you guys had, uh, passed a bunch of so those intercepted. What happened there? Just miscommunication uh, right there of uh, execution, which is not a deserve. Okay. Let's stop right there. Cam Newton is the type of individual when things are working well and when things are doing great, he's the type of individual that will pump the crowd up. He will pat his teammates on the back. He will uh, pump his chest. He will raise the roof. He does dances. And when he goes and do the interview, oh, my God, he will give you a paragraph full of information on why his team wins. But he's also that same type of individual that cannot handle losing well. Now, Cam Newton uh, sent a tweet on social media last year basically saying, you show me someone, uh, show me a good loser and I will uh, give you the description of a loser. A loser is a good loser that doesn't mind losing. Now, uh, that's the definition in Cam's world. So uh, when things are going great, you get the very best out of Cam. When things are going bad, well, you know the rest of that story. Let's listen to some more of this interview. Olsen said uh, that y'all scored 38 and should have had 50. Do you buy into that? How did you feel physically? Okay, let's stop right there. Now, Cam Newton is that same type of individual when he goes and do these interviews. It's like a couple of word answers uh, when you tell him what a teammate has said in the recent loss. He will not even confirm nor deny their statement. He's that type of individual that's very emotional and he vests so much of his emotions into the game. He expects to win every day and it doesn't work that way. Um, the very best athletes, they all had losing moments. Michael Jordan had losing moments. Joe Montana had losing moments. The list goes on and on and on, but Cam Newton thinks that he should win every single game, okay? So let's listen to some more of this audio. Trying to find ways to win the football game. Sometimes it's just about getting the ball out of your hands. Yeah. 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 This slow start. This is gonna kind of. Now I will say this, and I, and this will be sort of like a support for Cam Newton. Now, some of these uh, reporters do bait Cam Newton when they ask questions like, has this been the worst moment in your life? Or uh, they try to bring it back to his Super Bowl interview. And that's just bad journalist. You know, I mean, to be completely fair and to be completely honest, that's just bad journalism. All right. And that's what you heard those last couple of questions. So I will defend Cam Newton on that. But then at the same time, Cam Newton, you're going to have to, you should know that they're going to ask you about what went down last year in the Super Bowl. You should expect these questions, okay? So when someone asks you a question like that, you have to respond when they ask you their opinion, their strong opinion, you have to reply back with even a better, stronger answer. OK, the your answer was kind of weak. It really didn't confirm nor deny uh, the question at hand. But at the same time, these uh, the people that do the interview work, they're trying to bait you. And you know that. Uh, let's listen to some more. Characteristic of this team and things this year. Why do you think that keeps 
Try to find ways to move the button. After tying it up there late in the fourth quarter, how frustrating is it to be on the sideline helpless watching? Next question. Okay, all right, after that last question, Cam Newton said, look, I'm getting the, the two fucks out of here. I've heard enough. Uh, I stayed long. I stayed at the minimum requirement. That way, the, uh, the NFL, Roger Goodell, they can't find me. They can't say I didn't do a press conference. Uh, I stayed long enough to do the press conference. Now, here's my Final rebuttal. Cam Newton, you're going to have to grow up real fast. I believe you're 27. Now, the excuse that we we used to use on you back in your early years is, well, you know, he's a college teen. He's a, you know, he's a young adult. Um, he will naturally he will grow and mature and he will handle certain things a little bit better. Now you're 27. You're still doing the same shit that you was doing uh, when you was playing for Auburn when, uh, in, back in your college years, okay? You have to uh, turn the page. You're going to have to, uh, you know, mature a little bit more and handle these questions a little bit answer. Yes, uh, the media, they can be your friend sometimes and they can be your enemy at the same time. But at the same time, knowing that, you're going to have to handle things a little bit better. But guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am out. Deuces.